द टीचिंग्स ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्णा बिगेन एट वर्स लेवन ऑफ दिस चैप्टर लॉर्ड कृष्णा सेज टू अर्जुना दैट द वाइस शुड नॉट ग्रीव फॉर पीपल लिविंग और डेड He tells him that it is not the first time the armies are going to die. They existed even before this birth and will continue to exist even after death. The wise should know this truth and should not be overwhelmed. Lord Sri Krishna tells Arjuna that the soul never dies. It never takes birth and never ages. It is a body that takes birth goes through different phases of life and dies ultimately the soul then picks up another body he says the senses come in contact with things cold and hot thus they induce pleasure and pain the wise know this and endure both pleasure and pain as same because they are temporary phases Like a person discards old worn clothes and gets the new ones, the soul discards the old body and gets a new one. It cannot be killed by sword. It cannot be burned by fire. It cannot be wet by water. Wind cannot dry it. The soul is eternal and stable. The teachings of Sri Krishna then turn to Karma Yoga. He says that the karma of Arjuna is to fight and hence he should fight the enemies in doing his karma that is action or duties sin will not accrue because he is just doing what he is supposed to do he tells arjuna that people have right to action alone and not to the fruits of the action therefore karma that is action should be done without any attachment to its fruit such action keeps people safe from sins He further teaches that people who are undisturbed to the pleasure and pain are the ones who have controlled their senses. Desires are bad for karma yoga and bring about destruction. Anger gives birth to delusion and delusion leads to confusion. Confusion leads to loss of intellect and brings destruction. Therefore one must strive to control his desires and thereby his senses according to krishna sensation is the root cause of all desires which cause suffering and disguises the truth individuals must have self control and self discipline to achieve a state in which desires can flow through them without affecting them this is a summary of bhagavad gita chapter 2